Thanks for joining me today. My name is Tori and obviously we're going to be talking about the large Marc Jacobs tote bag. I've had this bag for about four months now and I want to give you reasons why this is not only the best travel tote but also the best work bag. So let's get into it. Perfect. Perfect. Alright guys, yes. First of all, first and foremost, let me apologize if my voice sounds a little funny today. I have been sick all week. I'm finally starting to feel better. So I wanted to go ahead and get this guy, get this recorded for you guys. So yeah, like I said, this is the large Marc Jacobs tote bag. Um, I actually have three sizes of the tote bags. So my next video is going to be doing a um, comparison review for you guys of those. But today we're going to be focusing on the large one. This one I have in the leather uh, material in the color cement. Um, so like I mentioned, I've had this bag for like four months now, um, and I originally got it because um, I needed a new work bag. My job has a gym downstairs, and I've been trying to get more active and get more fitness into my life. So I bought this because it's a lot bigger than my previous work bag that I had. I only could fit really like my laptop and like my lunch in that one, but this bag is so much larger, as you can see. It's 17 by 6 by 13 and the handle drop has it's like nine inch handle drop so it's great for putting it right on the shoulder my last bag that i was using had like a um like a crossbody strap that i would hold on like that i would you know obviously hook onto my shoulder and then carry it kind of crossbody which i didn't love going into work to be honest um and that's also why i got the leather i just feel like this is a bit more professional looking to be honest so i was actually originally thinking about getting the saint laurent Reve Gauche. I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce it. I'll throw it up here on the screen. I was originally thinking about getting this bag as my travel and work tote, as well as the Givenchy G tote. But to be honest, like, number one, the traveling, right? This bag I use as like my um, personal item when I'm traveling on planes. And so obviously I'm going to be putting it underneath the seat in front of me. And I was like, mm, do I want to buy a really expensive bag that I'm going to be rubbing up against? underneath you know the side underneath the the seat of an airplane no and also for work i really don't like to be too flashy at the office to be honest so i started like let me look up some alternatives and when i saw this bag especially this color i thought this was the absolute perfect um, alternative to what i was originally looking at and I love that I can just put it, throw it over my shoulder. Um, so it is full right now and I'll show you guys that in just a second, but I literally just like pop it on like this and just walk down the hallway. And the color is very just kind of neutral. Um, like I said, this is the color of cement. So it's like a gray kind of taupe color. Um, and I think it just pairs really well with anything, especially like when I'm traveling and at work, to be honest, I tend to wear a lot of neutral tones. So it matches perfectly with my, um, my wardrobe but obviously this comes in a lot of different colors online and i'll make sure i'll link it below i really quickly just show you like around the outside of the bag so obviously it says the tote bag there on the front mark jacobs um although you can flip it around and wear it this side if you're not really big into logos and whatnot i feel like this is a bit more subtle um, i feel like the black one is very subtle this one's very subtle some of them are a bit more like obvious the the logo and color difference between like the main color of the bag and the logo, but I actually don't mind it. I think it's it's not too bad, especially in this like sort of gray color. I think it's pretty muted, which is really good. Um, so it's kind of like this um, pebbled leather sort of texture on it. Let me see. This bag is really heavy. I probably shouldn't have stuffed it before I was lifting it up to show you guys the details, but you can kind of see um, the texturing here on the bag. And I think that also makes it a bit more durable than like a smooth leather. If you scratch it, it's probably not going to be as obvious, which is really great because uh, I'd be wearing this bag out. All right. A little bit more into that you might already be able to see here on the bag. I don't know if you can tell the string is already kind of like sticking up, but honestly, that's, I think that's really the only thing and I can cut that. It's not like this string it's like I can pull it and it just keeps going and going and going. It's not, uh, which is really good. And let me show you all the bottom of the bag too. Like I said, um, I do kind of just throw this around while I'm traveling, while I'm working. And it's holding up really, really well. The strap is still intact. Now I do have my other Marc Jacobs. I'll show you that, like I said, in my next video. That one has come off. And we'll talk about that on the other video. So far, this one has not though. It's been four months I've had this bag. 
um, and it's still holding strong. Another reason why I went with this tote over the other two, this closure right here. I really appreciate the fact that you can open, zip this close. Most tote bags I feel like are like just open, like the Neverfulls, um, yeah, or even the two that I just mentioned from, from St. Laurent and Jimachi. I really appreciate that this one comes with a closure on the top of it in a zipper. Now, obviously, you can get bag inserts um, that have the zipper closures on them. You can purchase those separately and put inside your bag. But I like that this already came with it, which was really, really nice. The, Giv the uh, excuse me, the Saint Laurent bag does have snaps on it, which is nice. But with that, you'll have to like limit how much you can put into your bag, obviously, because you have to snap it close. Um, but with this bag, you can keep it nice and square, and you can actually even overstuff this one if you want to. So taking a look here, like, this is very, like, bendable, right? This is a very soft, thin piece of leather. And so you can really stuff this bag and then zip it closed after overstuffing it. And if you're like me, I definitely overpack when I go on vacation. Um, I'm going to fit as much as I can fit in here, right? So this is really, really great. I mostly fly on... United and Southwest, um, every once in a while I'll fly on Delta, but all the flights that I've been on thus far, this bag can fit underneath the seat in front of me just fine. Now you will have to obviously fold the handles down or on top as you slide it underneath the seat in front of you, but they're very bendable. Um, and I'll show you really quickly at the handles here. You don't really, you see like where the creases are um, in the four months that I've had this bag, but honestly, I think I'm absolutely okay with that. I don't have any complaints, but they just sit like this. Like the bag literally just sits like this around my house. So maybe that's part of it. Maybe I'll do another review in like a year's time or one year after I purchased the bag to see if it's still holding up. Cause I am doing a lot of traveling this year. Um, so this bag is gonna be put to the test for sure. I think I've taken this bag though on like at least, at least eight flights since I've got it. And I would, like I said, I wear it every day when I go into work, so. So yeah. Now you don't have to get this bag obviously in leather. I bought this one specifically in leather because I am also using it as my work bag and I felt like the leather was just a little bit of a nicer touch than say like the canvas materials, obviously the mesh um, or any of the other materials that are out there. So that's why I went with the leather and specifically in this color cement because I think it just, it was a little more like, it was like a, was a little nicer a little more subtle like a subtle nice bag for work okay so speaking of work um so what i usually carry in my bag in this tote for when i go to work um is i have like my laptop which i have in here um and then i have i will say that this bag is it's a tote right so it's going to be pretty much like a black hole in here so i did buy this little purse on amazon to carry like my small things that kind of get lost in the black hole. Uh, so I have like feminine products in here, my eyeglass cleaner, a scrunchie, my work badge, little like makeup oil blotters. Um, I actually showed this on my last what's in my bag, my um, Ava Celine video if you want some more information about that. My AirPods are in here as well as some mints. Um, these are actually chai mints I got from Trader Joe's. Really fun right now. I also have some, uh, what's this called? Not, uh, poopery. Is this what they call it? Yeah, poopery. Little mini one for the office because you ever get, anyway, we're, we're not going to get into that. That's probably a little too much information, but yeah, you know why I have this. Um, so yeah, I'll keep a lot of this in my purse. And then also if I'm going like to lunch, I don't have to carry my big tote bag with me. I can just pop my little clutch out and I'll put my wallet in here as well if I want to go to lunch. Also, I have my, my chargers in here, my lotion, and what I wanted to share is this bag here. So this is actually the dust bag that I got from my, I think my medium sized, I think it's for my medium sized um, tote bag, but I use this as my little 
bag that I put my workout clothes in. So I've got like my my tennis shoes and my workout clothes. Cause like I said, I do go to the gym sometimes after work at the office, um, as well as um, my pre-workout can fit in that bag as well. So I'll throw all of this in here and let me show you what it looks like really quickly. Oh, and I have my, my little bitty notebook that I keep in here when I'm writing my notes while I'm at work. And even with all of that, I still have all of this space here on the side of the bag. And that's where I put my lunch. I didn't want to put food in here obviously because I'm just showing you guys this is an example but I'm just showing you that I can fit my workout clothes my lunch my laptop my purse chargers my phone and then I still also let me take this out actually I'll show you guys it still also has a back pocket here um, this little flap and it has a zipper pouch here so you can fit whatever you need to in that little pocket um, as well as two little side pockets here where I keep like my um, AirPod cleaners, my chapstick, a pen, etc. And it'll say the Marc Jacobs, or just Marc Jacobs, excuse me, right there. And this is actually, this little thing is actually a little pocket too on front of this pocket. So that's fun. And so the inside of the bag is also leather. It's slightly smoother, um, obviously a bit darker than the outside of the bag. I literally just throw things in and out of here. I like that it's a dark color too because obviously pen marks can be a concern, especially since this is my work bag. It fits so comfortably on my arm, even when it's stuffed. Let me put this stuff back in there so I can show you guys. It fits super comfortably here under my shoulder, even with it stuffed to the brim, basically. All right, so let's talk about this as a travel bag. So in here, I've put now um, a packing cube. <laughs> so this is like a pretty decent size. This is, a, this is the second largest size packing cube that I have. And I can fit like five outfits in here, plus like some socks, etc. So that is all in this bag. Um, and then I have my toiletry case. And I also have like an everyday purse. So obviously you're not going to be wearing this all around when you're on vacation or wherever you're going when you're traveling. So I'll put my everyday whatever purse inside this bag and I could still fit more in here. So let me show you. So that is everything that I just showed you. And you can see there's still obviously space in here. There's still that pocket in the bag. I could probably stretch this and put my water bottle, empty water jug in here. I can sit things on top of it. Cause like I said, this zipper part here, you can see it's sticking up, but it's very bendable. Like you can stuff even more things underneath here if you needed to, to really get the most out of the space and your personal item on an airplane. What I'll do when I'm traveling too, is I'll usually have like my roller carry-on bag and then I'll just sit this like on top of the roller and then put the straps over the roller bag itself and then just roll that around in the airport. And then you can just put like, um, like the stuff that you really need to grab really quickly, obviously as you're going through the airport, like your wallet, your ID, passport, whatever, put that in a little zipper on the back pouch here. Super easy to access as it's sitting on your roller bag. Or you can still just carry it on your shoulder. I just know I carry a lot of things. I don't like to carry it, um, but obviously it can still sit on your shoulder. You just kind of be, you know, your arm will be stuck outwards a little bit more, but you'll be fine. It's a great option. Definitely way more affordable than say the Givenchy or the um, Saint Laurent options that I was looking at originally. And honestly, this one's a bit more practical for the use that I'm trying to get out of it. Um, so if you're looking for a great work bag, a great travel tote, I highly suggest this bag, especially in the leather ones, but obviously you can get it in the canvas or any of the other materials that best fit you. Yeah, guys, let me know what you think about this bag. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any other questions that I didn't talk about. Um, but yeah, thanks guys so much. And I'll see you next time. Like I said, I'll be doing my next video on a comparison of the small, medium, and this large Marc Jacobs toe. So stay tuned for that. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.